Alright guys, welcome back to another video. Today we have another inside video because it's been raining outside. I suppose there's snow coming in like tonight or something. Also, I'm kind of hoarse as you can tell. I think I'm getting sick. And I just don't want to be outside in all those elements. So today we're doing an inside video. Um, so this is a Milwaukee video. In case you haven't figured it out yet about all the Milwaukee stuff you see laying around. Um, earlier today I was at a pawn shop. And I found these M12 lithium XC batteries but they were interesting to me this is the I bought two big ones like this and then I bought this this look well I bought a little one like this I, I have it it's on the charger over there um but yeah this is my old one as you can see I've put it through the put it through some tests that's what the M12 used to be red lithium used to be right there this is actually a right here, focus focus 48 watt hour um, how you get the amp hours is you divide the volts by the watts and you get amperage so 12 divided by 48 gives you 2 so this is a 2 amp hour battery um, these are I'll pick up one that doesn't have a deal on it huh these are 28 watt hours and 28 divided by 12 is like 2.3 so I got 2.5 amp hour Maybe it does a 3 amp hour, I'm not really sure. Anyway, but these would normally be a 3 amp hour. Like what you see in the store, this would be a 3 amp hour. So that's what we're going to go with, is that it is a 3. Because um, I don't want to do 12 divided by 28. Uh, 12 goes into 28 twice with a four, with a remainder of 4. So, yeah, I don't know that exact. That's like 2.5 amp hour. So like 2.5 is probably what this one is. Exactly, but anyway. Um, yeah, I bought these today. And I've seen a lot of off brands that look like this. Like from the side, they say M12 Lithium Ion XC, like that. And this one looks different than, you know, your average big batteries like this. I don't have, my, my the one that I have is uh, actually cracked right here. And it is in my drill. It's at work right now. So I don't have it with me. But um, yeah. But the thing that caught my eye is it says Milwaukee on it. So. That's what makes me think that they're real and not knockoffs. Because uh, anything that doesn't say Milwaukee is obviously a knockoff. Um, because it'd be copyright infringement for them to put this name on a knockoff battery. They, they can't do that. So, and these work. I mean, I've tested them. I mean, right now I have it in this one. I mean, it's a full charge. I mean, I haven't had any problems with it. I mean, of course, I have not ran it through the impact test yet but I don't see any reason it wouldn't I don't, I don't see any reason it wouldn't work I mean heck thing works good now over here on my charger um, as you can see this is the old this is the old one I already had this is another two uh, it's charged up but as you can see this one has a silver coating this is the two amp hour I bought it's uh it looks a little bit different too as you can see Instead of red lithium, it says lithium ion. Uh, and down here, this is black instead of silver. But those are like the main differences that I've seen. What do you know? But um, today, we're going to be doing something kind of fun. Uh, we're going to be putting both of these batteries to the test. Because this is like an older, I guess, Milwaukee battery. I've never seen these before. I've looked online. I can't really find them anywhere. If you guys know any more about these, oh, let me drop it. be sure to let me know. Um... Yeah, I bought these. I mean, I got this one at a pawn shop for ten dollars. Uh, the other two were fifteen dollars a piece. So I got a really good deal on these, which is why I picked them up, even if they were knockoffs. I was like, well, you know, they're knockoffs, but I, I really don't think they are because of the because it says Milwaukee on them in two different places. You can kind of tell it's been rubbed off there, but it says Milwaukee. So, and I mean, even the design is like almost the same like where the lettering is and all that I mean that's almost identical so if this is a knockoff it's somebody did a really good job <laughs> making a knockoff battery I mean it feels good it feels as tough and as durable as I mean I could I mean I can drop it on the ground and I don't feel like anything's loosening up this feels like a good battery to me it feels as good as this one does so that's why I think it's a real battery but anyways guys yeah so we're gonna be putting them to the impact test um, seeing how long it takes them to drain compared to these. Now, of course, you guys have to understand 
this one will be a little biased because these batteries are turning two years old so they are they are getting kind of they are getting some age on them but they I mean they they still will I, I I've used these things for like weeks at a time and I, I don't have any problem dragging them doing what I do I do I'm an electrician so I use these things on like a daily basis but yeah guys all right guys so I have been having these on charge for like a full 24 hours now um, they were green like a long time ago but the main thing I was looking for was if uh, this one or that one started coming on or that one started coming on either of those or it started acting funny these things have not acted funny at all they've been here all day while I was gone doing chores running errands and they still work good I mean I have no problems with them charging I've read some reviews online that say that knockoff batteries um, that knockoff batteries will uh, make the chargers act funny, not charge, stuff like that. But this one seems to be acting good. The only thing that really makes me think they're a knockoff is that there's this. And I look at a knockoff battery and it has this exact same thing on the side. The only difference is it does not say Milwaukee on the bottom. So that's why I think these are official. So how we're going to do this test is there is the test of impacting drills, um, using them as impacts. Which is a good test. But, like I said, it's raining outside. It's been raining outside for like a week and a half now, so I haven't been able to make this video. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to take and pull the trigger, set a timer, pull the trigger on each one, on one of the old batteries, and one of the new batteries, one of the two, the two amp hour that I have. I'm not going to do it with this one, because this one's clearly going to win, it's a three amp hour, it holds more charge. Um, now of course, let's go ahead and, we need to understand that, um, that, that, the, that, the, that the original batteries that I already had, they are old, so... You know, if they're if they're a little behind, we I mean that's understandable because they're old batteries. But anyways, we're gonna hold the trigger down for like for however long it takes them, and we're gonna see which one gets to half charge first. Um, and then we we may do another one where we go all the way dead. So yeah, guys, we're gonna go ahead and get started. Alright, so after a solid three minutes of runtime, what? It went back up to full. So after um, almost five minutes of run time, solid run time, me holding the trigger the whole time, it finally dropped one tick. One tick it dropped. So five minutes worth of run time. Obviously you're not going to be holding this thing the whole time, but anyways, now on to the next battery. Understand the test we just did on, the one that got 447 was the um, old slash you know, possibly knockoff battery. Now we have the battery that I've had for a couple years. As you can see, it's fully charged. Now we will reset and begin.
All right, so after four minutes and 15 seconds, ah, it's already went back up to four ticks. The test must continue. All right, so I was holding the trigger some more, and after you run it for a while, it does go down to three ticks. But if I swap out these batteries, this one is already back up to four. So, um, basically, guys, the conclusion is, um, after five minutes of runtime, which is four minutes thirty seconds, I'm sure it could have gone to this one. I mean, this thing, like I said, guys, it is two years old, and the fact that it, you know, was only like about fifteen seconds behind, and now that I put it back in, oh, gotta get it in there all the way. Give it a second. That just means that your battery isn't in all the way. There we go, got through testing. Now it's already back up to four. Ah, uh, dropped down to three, as you can see. So yeah, for a two-year-old battery, that's honestly pretty good, to be honest. To be able to, yeah, to be able to, you know, hold a hold charge like that. So yeah, I mean, it pretty much stood up. This thing pretty much stood up even with this, which makes me think this is a real Milwaukee battery. So one more test with this thing before we call it quits is I have this big old bolt here for mounting mounting a bracket to hold up a TV, right? Well, I'm not going to be using this battery, I just have it in here, but I have a socket adapter on here. I'm going to be putting a socket on it and running this thing in. we got like four of these. And then we will check it with the 2 amp hour battery. This is just the 2 amp hour batteries we're really putting to the test. This one I know will muscle through it. Um, I use one this big in my drill, my like my regular drill all the time. That thing chews through batteries, drilling through metal and stuff. So this thing should be a nice test for this, um, just to see how well that 2 amp hour battery holds up. As you can see right now, I have it on the charger, charging all the way back up, so that we have a completely 100% battery whenever we start this. All right, guys. So right now he's making a mark on the wall. First up, we have the supposed knockoff battery or whatever. Um, the one that I bought at the pawn shop, basically. We're going to be testing it out, running in those lag screws. We have full charge right now, as you can see. I'm going to run these in, and uh, we'll run two of them in with this, or half of them in with this, and then half of them in with the other battery. And uh, we'll see if we lose any charge with either one. Alright, so we ran two of them in with the lithium battery, the uh, the pawn shop battery, and it is down one tick, so now we're going to use the other battery, which is all the way charged. So this one from full charge, oh yeah, it only went down one tick, but I actually did have two ticks over there, um, but it went back up one. So yeah, one tick, and this is, like I said, this is about a, this one's a little bit newer, this battery that I used this time, but they're still about a year old, almost a year and a half now on all of these batteries, so all these batteries are still pretty old, and they held up quite well. Alright guys, so I want to thank you very much for watching this video. I know it was kind of different, it was more of a like test-like video. But I did just want to, you know, pretty much confirm myself that these batteries could hold up to what this thing could. And this is a two-year-old battery, like I said. And, I mean, it, it was right on par with this one. So, what makes me... It makes me think these batteries might be, like, older. Like, they might be the old model. They were just, like, never used. So, that's why they still look new. Might be what it is. Anyway, they have two more at that pawn shop over there. I'm probably going to go pick up because these things are awesome. Especially for the price. Um, anyways guys, so I want to thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed, be sure to drop a like, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.